Percy felt very pleased. Until he saw the birthday parcel. Wobbling wheels! It's all crinkled and crumpled. What am I going to do? Percy thought as hard as he could. But this time, no ideas flew into his funnel at all. So Percy steamed sadly away. Percy clickety-clacked slowly along the track. Now, he didn't want to show Mavis his special special. He had spoiled Sir Topham Hatt's mother's birthday parcel, and he couldn't go to the party at Nadford now. Percy didn't want anyone to see him, so he chuffed into a siding to hide. He felt terrible. Then he heard Mavis and Edward chuff to the junction. Hello, Mavis. You look happy. I am. I've just picked up these brand new crates. Suddenly, Percy stopped feeling sad, and he started to listen very carefully. Brand new crates? Victor had just delivered them to the steamworks. I've never pulled brand new crates before. Goodbye, Edward. A brand new crate is just what I need. Percy pumped his pistons and puffed away to the steamworks. Hello, Victor. Hello, my friend. How can I help you? I've just seen Mavis with brand new crates. May I have one, please? Well, what for? To put my birthday parcel in. Well, of course you can, Percy. That made Percy very happy. Thank you, Victor. Soon, a new bright red crate was sitting on Percy's flatbed. This will be the grandest parcel Sir Topham Hatt's mother has ever been given. I must hurry now. Everyone will be waiting. Thank you, Victor. And Percy puffed proudly out of the steamworks. Sir Topham Hatt and his mother were waiting at Knapford Station. Sir Topham Hatt was cross. Then Percy puffed in. The brand new bright red birthday parcel looked wonderful. Everyone cheered. Happy birthday, ma'am. Here's your very special birthday present. Sir Topham Hatt's mother beamed, and even Sir Topham Hatt smiled. As the workman opened the crate, everyone wanted to see what the present was. Sir Topham Hatt's mother was most excited of all. Then everyone gasped. It was a beautiful portrait of Sir Topham Hatt's mother. Oh, my Bertram, what a wonderful surprise. I'm very happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the most special special I've ever seen, Percy. Percy smiled from footplate to fender. He was sure he was the happiest engine of all. Now, under here is something I can use in the talent show. There. Yeah. A piano. Now, I've not played the piano since I was about six years old, which was, oh, a very long time ago. But I think I can remember enough to play a little song. Let's see, now. These are the high notes. Oh, no, no, no. These are the low notes. These are the high notes. Ah, yes. It's all coming back to me now. I'm sure Sir Topham Hatt will be impressed by a little song, don't you? Let's see. Oh dear, I'm a little bit out of practice. It has been a long time. Hello, engine driver's common room. Oh, hello, station master. <laughs> yes, that was me playing the piano, yes. I'm practising for the Grand Sodor talent show later. Well, yes, I haven't played for a very long time, I'm afraid. Oh, I see. Oh, you're trying to work next door.